And it's not only in the Ladakh region. China's nefarious designs are now coming to the fore along the Indo-Nepal border as well. Indo-Nepal relations have been under strain after Defence Minister Rajnath Singh inaugurated an 80-kilometre-long uh, motorable road. This is from Dharchula in Uttarakhand to Lipu Lake to facilitate movement of pilgrims for the Kailash Mansarovar Yatra on May 8th. When completed, this road will reduce travel time from 21 days to just one day. Tensions have been prevailing in the border areas after Nepal objected to this road construction. Nepal claims that the road passes through Nepalese territory, but India has rejected this claim, asserting that the road lies completely within our territory. Nepal even released a map claiming Lipu Lake to be a part of their territory. And when India today visited the border areas and spoke to some of the people there, they claim that China has been inciting Nepal to raise these unnecessary border disputes. हमारे पुरखों के समय से ही काला पानी भारत का अभिन्न अंग रहा है और आगे भी रहेगा कि नेपाल बेफालतू का एक राजनीतिक विवाद पैदा कर रहा है चाइना के संरक्षण में आके कि कोरोना के माध्यम से लोगों को बहकाया जाए बढ़काया जाए इसीलिए बेफालतू का एक राजनीतिक मुद्दा बना दिया गया भारत का ही अभिन्न अंग है काला पानी इसमें कोई डाउट नहीं वी आर एट काली रिवर यू कैन जस्ट सी बिहाइंड मी दिस इज द international boundary of indo nepal in 1816 in sugoli sandhi it was declared that this is the border of indo nepal with camera person prarish rana dilip singh rathod in lipu lake for india today and india today spoke to nepal politician sujata koirala who backed the nepal prime minister's claim of lipu lake being a part of their territory she's also denied any instigation by china India and Nepal have historical ties. Uh, both sides saying that they need to discuss and resolve the unresolved issues through dialogue. But when it comes to actions taken by the core, by the Oli administration, it seems uh, somehow that it is not in tandem with what is being spoken when it comes to the border issues. Yeah. Now, both the countries at the highest levels have uh, recognized that Kalapani area is an outstanding issue that is to be resolved through dialogue. Uh, it is an area that belongs to Nepal as delimited by the uh, Sugauli Treaty of 1816. It is very clearly, it is said. The problem started when uh, only when India unilaterally included the area in its map and refused to sit down for diplomatic talks to sort out the issue. India has not responded to Nepal's repeated request for diplomatic dialogue. This forced the government of Nepal to go ahead with the inclusion of the area in its map. And uh, the whole nation is right now united. All political parties are with the government on border issues. We have differences with the government leadership on how they are running the administration. But on border issues, we are one. The Kalapani area should be with Nepal. There should be an early dialogue, and India should uh, withdraw from the area. Right. And uh, Nepal and India, as you know, we are very old friends, and we have people-to-people uh, -people, uh, friendship. And we don't. We want that people-to-people uh, -people relationship. Um, should be kept strong. It should not, uh, because of our dispute, you know, there should not, it should not be um, affected. Hi everyone, Preeti Chaudhary here. Hope you like this video. For latest news and analysis, like and subscribe to the India Today YouTube channel. And don't forget to press the bell icon to stay updated. Thank you for watching.